Hey Austin, what are we gonna fold today? An origami frog. And when we're all done folding the frog, what is it gonna be able to do at the end? Jump. Jump really far. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best origami frog you'll ever fold. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. And what do they need for this lesson? Some paper. You can use origami paper or printer paper. You just wanna make sure that it's square before you start. Now what, what also is special about origami paper? Because it has color on one side and it's thin. Yeah, it's thinner than regular printer paper. So that makes the folding a little easier. Plus our frog is gonna be gray, but you could use any color. You could use green, red, or even Yellow. Yellow or blue. Yeah. <laughs> now remember, if you're using printer paper, just make sure that it's square before you start the lesson. You ready to start? Yeah. Now we're gonna do one frog together so you can be my origami folding assistant. We're gonna start by having our origami paper white side up and we're gonna take this edge on the right and fold it over to the left. So I'll line it up and then you crease it right down the middle, okay? Okay. There we go, it's lined up, all right. I like doing down the middle like this and then out to the edges. There you go. You did it. You are an amazing assistant. Thank you so much. <laughs> now we're going to take the top edge and we're going to fold it down to this left edge. So we're going to fold diagonally like this, line it up so there's a point up at the top. And then we're going to do the same thing, fold it down the middle and then out to the edges. There you go. Good. Now we'll open that up. And we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. We'll take this corner and fold it down to the left or to the right side. Make sure that it's lined up and a point at the top and fold it down the middle and then out to the edges. Yes, all right, now we're gonna open it back up again and remind our art friends, if we ever go too fast, what can art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys could always pause the video if you need to take extra time to finish a step. All right, now we're going to fold we're going to take our fingers on the sides like this and we're going to pinch them towards the middle like that and then squash the top down. Woo, we did it. And we want to make sure that it looks like a triangle when we're ready to crease it. There we go. You did it. And we can just flatten it make sure it's perfectly flat. Now we can do that again. Let's open it back up and show our art friends one more time. We're going to take the edges like this fold them towards the middle, and then squish the top down like that. It'll make a triangle when we're all done. Yeah. Now let's make the front legs. We're gonna take this top corner right here, the top flap, and we're gonna fold it like that. Can you fold that down? Press it down, crease it. There you go, man. You're doing awesome. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the left side. So we're gonna take it like this and fold it up, and we want it to look like it's matching. We want it to be the same on both sides. So we're gonna fold it like that, and then crease it down. There you go. Good job, buddy. Now we got our two front legs. Let's make the back legs. First step is we're gonna take the bottom edge and fold it up to the middle, the bottom of the triangle. Like that, and down the middle and out to the corners. Start in the middle, there you go. It's a little easier that way. <laughs> then we're gonna take this right side and we're gonna fold it to the middle. So we'll take it like this. You know what, another thing that makes it a little easier is we can turn it sideways and pull this flap up to the top like that. Now we're gonna take this bottom edge and we're gonna fold it to the middle. Like that. There we go, and then crease it. All right, now we're gonna repeat that same step on the other side. So I'm gonna take these little, the front legs and fold them down like that we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do the same thing down here. We're gonna take this bottom edge and we're gonna fold it up to the, to the middle so that it matches on both sides. I'm gonna fold it. You did it, buddy. Now the front legs, let's fold them back down, one on each side like that, and we can put it right back to where we had it. So if we wanna repeat all of those same steps, we can just open it up and show our art friends one more time. We took each side and we folded it into the middle like that. Now we're gonna take this bottom edge right here and we're gonna fold it up to the middle. So we'll take this edge and we're gonna fold it. Now this part gets, starts getting a little tricky because there's so much paper, it starts getting thick. The thicker paper down there is harder to crease and fold, but you're doing great. Okay, we got that folded. Now we're gonna take each corner on this little flap and fold it down to the middle. 
kind of like if we were doing an airplane. Watch this. I'm going to do it together at the same time. We can fold both sides down like that. Like that. And crease it down. You want to squish it too? Yeah. Kind of like if you were making an airplane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can do that one more time. We take those corner edges and down so that it looks like a little point right here down at the bottom. Okay, now this next part is a little tricky. We're gonna unfold the tri this bottom triangle just so it's pointing up towards the camera, right? Yeah. And then we've got little corners. Hopefully our art friends can see this on the camera. We've got little corners that we're gonna pull apart. Watch this. Look at that, oh, it's kinda a little tricky. But look, we're gonna fold it back down and we can do that one more time and repeat it. What does this shape look like when we're all done? A boat. A boat, yeah. So we can repeat that same step. I'm just gonna squish it back together. You guys don't have to repeat it if you did it. But this is where we started. Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna fold, unfold the triangle so it's pointing up. And we're gonna take those two corners and pull them apart like this. And then fold it back down. Is that cool? Yeah. So it should look like that when we're all done. Like a little boat. Okay, now we're ready to make the back legs, buddy. We're gonna fold this corner down like this. You wanna squish it? There you go. Good job. And we're gonna do the same thing on the left. Fold it down. You wanna squish that one too? All right. And the next step is we're gonna take this inside edge right here and we're gonna fold it like that. Oh, is that cool? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna repeat that same step over here on this side. We're gonna take this edge and fold it up like this. And you crease this one, okay? I did the other one, you do this one. Crease it down. There you go, good job. All right, we got his back legs, but now we need to make the jumping part. So next step is we're gonna fold our frog in half. We're gonna take the bottom part and fold it up like that. Crease it right down. The middle, yes. All right, and then we're gonna take this edge right here, we're gonna take that edge right there, and we're gonna fold it down to this edge. So we're gonna fold this in half. This part is really tricky, so you might need a parent or an adult to help you fold it down because it's nice, it's really thick now that we have so much paper in there. Yeah. So we're gonna fold it down, then you wanna squish it. Squish it really hard. Push, use your muscles. <laughs> All right, Austin, you did it. Do you want to flip him over and see if he jumps? <laughs> Look at that. Wait, he looks like a frog, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Tell our, our friends how, how to make him jump. So you put, it, put your finger where? Right, right here. Right there, and then you slide it off, and he jumps. <laughs> he did awesome. Let me try. Sometimes you can make him flip. Oh, he landed on his back. One more. There. <laughs> oh, we did it. If you do it quick, he kind of jumps higher, and he also does a full flip. Try again. <laughs> Boom, right there. Boop. Oh, you did it! Good job! Now look at this, we also got some other colors. We got an orange and a yellow one. Let's see which one jumps farthest. Boom! Oh, the orange one! <laughs> and we also, if you use smaller paper, you can make a smaller frog. And if you use bigger paper, it'll make the frog bigger. Yeah. All right, let's see who jumps farther, the little one or the big one. Ready? One, two. Three, jump. Oh, he jumped really far. He jumped, he jumped over our markers. You could also add a design on the back with a marker or colored pencils. You could give them eyes and even spots. Yeah. You jumped off your hand. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Here he goes, good jump. Woo. Little one time. Little one. Uh-uh, uh, -uh. Oh, it was a little jump. Yeah. Make a big jump. Oh.